Hello, this is JD from RGB Spy Tech, and today we're going to do a quick tutorial video on how to set up uh, your Dakota Alert uh, sensors. Now this, we're going to set up the new uh, 4K, or the, the, the new 20 ver 2020 version, okay? So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to the back of your, your device, okay, which is going to be this one right here. And then in the back, you're going to have some dip switches here, okay? You're going to have seven dip switches. Now we create a little diagram right here on what those dip switches are. The first one uh, is going to be for your LED. So if you're going to want the LED lights right here to, to light up when you want uh, when the sensor goes off, then you would either turn those on or off. The second one's going to be for your chime. That chime is going to be the one coming from here, from your the same base station. Okay, and then uh, the three and four. Those are going to be for your for your relay number one and relay number two, okay? So if you want to, you can connect it to different things such as uh, home automation, uh, lights, sirens, bells, different things like that. And then you also have uh, your 12 volt DC, uh, which you can actually pretty much about the same thing as a relay. I mean, you can also connect some bells, sirens, you know, different things like that to that as well. Now the, the last dip switches, dip switches 6 and 7, those are actually going to be for your 12 volt relay, or your 12 volt DC, I'm sorry. So for that, it's going to determine how long the siren or bell is going to go off for. So you can put it for 1 second, 5 seconds, 15 seconds, or all the way up to 5 minutes, okay? Now, for to learn how to control how to how to set those for the for the time limits, just uh, refer to your to your user manual, and then it will tell you which and uh, what sequence six and seven need to be uh, on or off. One, once you have it set up how you want to, okay. Now we're just going to plug it into the electricity, and then you can press. Uh, you have two buttons on the side here, okay? You're going to have your uh, volume or your sound button and your mode button. So we're going to press the, the sound button in order to turn it on. Let me create that noise for you there, okay? So then now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, tap on the mode button for three seconds until the lights or until the lights start blinking. So press and hold it for three seconds. The lights start blinking, okay? Uh, then we're going to press the little sound button right here on the side to pick our tone for our siren. Uh, you have uh, 16 different tones on this one, so you can just cycle through them. I'll play a couple of them for you now. So there, we'll just select that one, okay? And then, so now what we're going to do is we have our sensor over here. Now we're going to activate our sensor. And we'll, once we activate our sensor, uh, it's going to do a chime for about one to two seconds uh, on the base station just to tell us that that sensor has been activated. Okay, there, we heard that, uh, the, the second chime, okay? Um, if you have more sensors or multiple sensors, Basically, you right now, since it's still flashing, it's still in the activation mode, what you would do is you would just press, you know, the volume or the sound button for, for the sound that you want the other sensor for, and then you just do the same thing, you activate the sensor, uh, and then that sensor will be activated. So once you're done activating all your sensors, then you're going to press and hold the mode button until the lights, or until the lights go solid. So press and hold it. The lights are solid now. Okay. 
So then now when we activate the sensor, it's going to go off like that. Okay? And then you can even press on the sound button right here, and then you can actually lower the volume. And then if you keep pressing it, it turns off. Okay? So we'll, turn it, we'll tur put it at the medium. Okay? At the medium there. So now we're going to tell you how to uh, activate the, to the connect the siren. How far can you put the sensor from the actual uh, main base? Yeah, uh, this can go up to a mile away. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, so now we're going to connect the siren. So uh, if you want to connect the siren, we'll just do it the real simple way, okay? We'll just make sure that, that the, I mean, we made sure that the 12-volt the relay is turned on. We're going to go, I mean, the 12-volt DC is turned on. That's the route we're going to take. I'm not going to use the relays for now. And then on the bottom here, okay, on the bottom of the, of the device, this is where you would be able to actually connect your wires. So we already connected the 12 volt, uh, as you can see. Uh, this is just a simple diagram. So relay one, you have the normally open, uh, the common wire, and then the normally closed. Relay two, you have the same thing. If you're going 12 volt, then you're just going to have positive and negative, okay? So that's how we connect this one, just positive and negative, okay? We have a spare cable right here, so we're just going to connect it, just connect it into the positive and negative on the siren as well, okay? And this one we set it for one second, okay? So once the sensor goes off, you see, your siren goes off for one second. You see, and it's also flashing because you turned that on as well. And that pretty much concludes this video. Thank you.